Hello and welcome to Newsday with Jeff A. Hearn. I'm your host, Jeff A. Hearn. Today's top story. Harry and Meghan called their car chase through Manhattan's Upper East Side near catastrophic. Not only was it not, it was barely a car chase. They could have put a full cup of coffee on their dashboard and it wouldn't have spilled a drop. It can't be a car chase if the foot traffic on the sidewalk is moving faster than you are. How do I know they weren't traveling that fast? Because one of the photographers chasing them was riding a bicycle. Not a motorcycle, a bicycle. Probably had a wicker basket on it so he could keep his camera inside. Megan and Harry claim that the chase lasted two hours. It didn't, but things can seem longer than they are. Like listening to two minutes of Meghan Markle's podcast feels like two hours. Prince Harry and Meghan could have avoided all this by simply staying at a hotel in the city, but they were too cheap. Instead, opting for a friend's private residence over the Carlisle Hotel, where rooms range from $1,200 to $6,000 a night. And I don't think there's a AAA discount. The self-entitled duo demanded the deep discount, which the hotel refused. I guess the $100 million Netflix deal aside, the Sussexes must really be struggling. Who knew they were such cheapskates? At least Meghan Markle has a new royal title, Princess Punch Card. And as we speak, she's only one sandwich away from a free six-inch sub. Good call on the Carlisle's part. It's better to publicly turn these people away than to let them in. But back to the chase that wasn't, which ended at a police station where the couple ditched their protected SUV and jumped into a yellow cab. I guess the punch card princess had rented the limo by the hour instead of for the entire night and didn't want to go over on the time. Harry and Meghan have demanded that the pictures paparazzi took be handed over to them because they are royals. Well, that only works in England. Plus, you two are not really royals anymore. On the royal website, alleged pedophile Prince Andrew is the only one below you. Harry even wound up in the same royal odds and ends row as him during Charles's coronation. You two are about as royal right now as the WWE's Royal Rumble, especially since WWE star William Regal now has as much claim to the throne as both of you do. And as to making parallels at the chase that killed Diana, that is beyond distasteful. First, hers was an actual chase. Yours was the movie Speed if the bus were only allowed to travel under five miles an hour. And unlike you two, Diana was well-liked, as opposed to Meghan, who makes Chrissy Teigen seem like a warm and compassionate individual. I'm kidding. Nobody can do that. Harry and John Legend should do a Netflix special where they talk about ruining their lives with bad marriages. It would cost way less than the $100 million Netflix spent on Meghan and Harry, and the ratings would be better, too. I forget the name of the show. I think it's Wow Wow Boo Hoo. Ah, whatever. Poor Harry and John Legend. Perhaps your Cinderella is still out there, but you'll never know because you married the stepsisters.